there's a word for this. Do you know what the word for it is? If you change the past and then it stops being the past? No, I don't know. It's called a paradox. Yeah. What does it mean? It means that it's not true, but it's also true. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. How can something be true and not true at the same time? Yeah. It's a paradox. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want me to tell you a story? Yeah. Okay. This is a story about a man named Tim, the time traveler. Yeah. Okay. So Tim goes back 50 years before he was born. Yeah. And he sees a man. Yeah. And he kills him with a gun. Yeah. And the man he killed was his own grandfather. Yeah. If you kill your grandfather in the past, yeah. Then your father is never born. And if your yeah. father's never born, then Tim was never born. Yeah. But if he was never born, he couldn't go back into the past to yeah. kill the grandfather. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a paradox. It's a paradox. This is the problem with backwards time travel. This is why backwards time travel is so difficult. So you have to try to not go, don't do paradox kind of thing? Oh, it's very strange. Nobody knows the answer. Maybe if, time, if you can travel backwards in time, yeah. maybe paradoxes can't happen. Maybe you can't change what happens in the past. Oh. So, like, uh, um, if you don't kill your grandfather, you'll still be alive. Yeah, but you can change other things, right? Yeah, like, kill somebody, like, a bad guy and kill that guy, and then he'll never be born again. Well, there's all sorts of ways you can change the future, right? Yeah. Like if you don't eat in the morning, you'll be really hungry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you go back into the past and you eat your own breakfast. Yeah. Will you be hungry afterwards or not? Hungry? I think. It's a paradox. Oh. So I will be hungry. I don't know. It's hard to say. That's the problem with backwards time travel.